Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So from this video, we are going to discuss about a free alternative to OpenAI's ChatGPT. So it's Cohere a language model. So this is becoming increasingly popular language model these days. So from this video, we will discuss how can we use this uh, language model in our projects. So basically we will discuss on how to create an open uh, an API key from Cohere and integrate it with the LangChain library so that it will uh, facilitate a bunch of use cases. And also uh, various projects that we discussed from our previous videos, we can simply reproduce with this free uh, language model instead of paid uh, open AI API. So first uh, you can jump into the official Cohere website. So I will also put the link of uh, this website in the video uh, description. So they got uh, various uh, tabs here. Uh, here they got like various products and for developers, businesses and etc. So obviously they got some paid versions as well. Uh, so more sophisticated use cases, uh, we can use these uh, paid uh, versions of Cohere language models. So for the other projects that we are trying out various things and building various projects, this is perfectly uh, more than enough the free version. All right. So next, uh, we can simply click on this try now uh, button so that we can sign up for Cohere and so that we can start using the API keys. So I will click on this try now button. So this will open up this uh, sign up page. So here you can uh, sign up here with your Gmail account or with your GitHub. And alternatively, you can simply give your email and a password and sign up uh, with Cohere. So I have already done that step. So I will skip it and I will simply click on uh, this login icon down here. And so here I will uh, go ahead with uh, GitHub. So logging into Cohere will bring you up this nice simple uh, dashboard. So here uh, there are like a bunch of quick start tutorials that you can uh, try out with Cohere. And also, uh, so I will click on this. So it will open up the various tutorials that we have. So we can try out uh, various tutorials given in the Cohere uh, tutorial site. And also there is a playground as well, similar to OpenAI's uh, playground. Uh, here we can try out various things with Cohere language model. And also there is a good uh, documentation as well. So uh, if you have any doubts, we can refer to these documents. So uh, from this side panel, uh, if, uh, if we need to create the API keys, we need to click on this option from this side panel. So I will click on the API keys. So it will uh, open up this page. So there are uh, some uh, messages. So obviously we are using the free uh, version of Cohere. So this says like if you are using it for the commercial purposes, we need to uh, get a production key instead of this free key because the free Cohere key is comes up with a set of uh, restrictions. So as far as I understood, it's like for for a one minute, there are 100 uh, requests uh, per minute permitted with the free Cohere uh, API. So that is more than enough. Like if you go back to the uh, pricing tab of the Cohere, you can see more information about various uh, versions of Cohere you can use. So here the free version we are using, so it's rate limited usage, which means like 100 uh, requests for a minute. And so that is completely free. We don't need to pay or add our credit card anything for that. And for the production, it is uh, actually uh, pretty cheap compared to uh, OpenAI chat GPT model. So there are like various uh, versions and there's a price calculator as well. So if you are using it for the commercial purposes, you can uh, 
use a more uh, sophisticated versions. So basically we are using free uh, version of Cohere for our various experiments and the projects. So basically from this, you can create a new trial key and you can simply give a name for the key and then uh, you can use it in the, um, in the project. So uh, all good. So that's how you can simply create an API key with Cohere. So let's jump in the notebook and see how we can use this with the LAMP chain uh, library. All right. So first uh, we are installing the required libraries as always. So here we will be installing the Cohere library and then we will install LangChain, PyPDF, Tik uh, Token, and ChromaDB uh, libraries. So let's try out uh, various use cases with uh, ChromaDB. How can we use this language model in uh, our various projects? So uh, the Cohere API can be used with uh, their endpoint as well. So similar to uh, ChatGPT in OpenAI, we can use it directly from the uh, API endpoint, or uh, else we can use it through the LangChain uh, language framework. So here, if we are using Cohere through the API endpoint, uh, we can use it like this. So basically we can import the Cohere library and then we can create this uh, Cohere client instance. And then simply uh, we have to call Cohere.generate API call. So inside this uh, call body, we can provide all the various parameters. So here we can specify which model that we are using and then we can provide the prompt. So to which uh, query we need the uh, answers and then max tokens, temperature, uh, p-values, top sequence, and et cetera. We can provide various uh, parameters of the Cohere language model. So uh, here I'm um, sticking with the default parameters of Cohere and I'm giving a sample prompt, write a description about Australia. So this is what I got. So it basically give me comprehensive uh, description about uh, what is Australia. So it's uh, pretty amazing. So this is actually the free version. So without any problem, I can use it. And this is another example. So here I'm using Cohere to generate the embeddings. So with embeddings, we simply means uh, numerical representations of the text. So for that, we can simply use uh, the LangChain framework. So here from LangChain embeddings, I can import Cohere embeddings and then you can provide the Cohere API key uh, there. And then simply providing a text using embeddings.embed query, we can simply get the corresponding numerical representations that uh, represent this text. So this can be useful in various occasions such as sentiment classification, uh, text classification, clustering, and uh, various similarity measures, etc. So that's how we can use the embeddings uh, in Cohere. And here we use the API uh, endpoint to call Cohere for the text generation. All right, uh, next let's move to document Q&A example. So this is a uh, most familiar use case for us. So with various our previous uh, videos, we use uh, document Q&A. So here, uh, first we need to import various libraries that we are using for the document question answering. So basically we can uh, import the document loaders, text splitters, and then vector stores and uh, chains. So uh, I will import these libraries for the document Q&A. So uh, as a difference to the previous tutorial, so here as LangChain LLMs, uh, other than OpenAI, uh, I will import the Cohere uh, language model. So next we can simply load the documents that we have uh, here I'm using a single uh, PDF files, file to test out the Cohere language model. So other than this, you can try out the various uh, direct loaders or a text loader, etc. Next, we can uh, chunk this document into various segments and then uh, we can use it in our vector database. So, and also we have to set up 
our Cohere API key as uh, environment variable so that we can use it in our uh, Chroma DB instance. So next, uh, similar to the previous case here, we can initiate a Cohere embeddings instance, and I will also create Chroma DB, uh, a Chroma DB vector store instance here, and then I can provide the documents as well as embedding uh, created. So this everything is uh, quite similar to our previous document question answering examples. The only the difference is uh, we are using this Cohere large language model. And next we can initiate the Q&A uh, model with this vector dbqa uh, components in LangChain. And then here as the large language model, I'm creating the Cohere LLM instance and chain type stuff. And the vector store is the DB that we created with the Chroma. So uh, then we can simply use it for the question answering. So here I'm asking, tell me about indigenous people in Australia. So this is the answer that uh, it is giving. So the provided document that I gave to uh, this uh, Q&A model is uh, information that contain uh, the Wikipedia article that contain information regarding Australia that we used in our previous tutorials as well. So uh, basically we can use it for the document question answering. So as I have, as I'm concerned, so there's a, a rate limit like 100 requests per one minute. So this is uh, actually a very uh, flexible uh, rate limit for a free large language model. So basically you can try out this Cohere model for almost all the use cases that we are doing with open AI uh, language model. So here we use it with the endpoint for the text generation, then we use it for the embedding construction, and then we also tried it out with the document Q&A example as well. So uh, that's it from this video. So from this video, we discussed about a free alternative large language model uh, called Cohere that we can use instead of paid uh, open AI chat GPT model. So uh, that's it from this video and thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and share this video with your colleagues. And thank you so much and see you from the next video.